Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo where it is the dawn of a brand new wonderful day and I'm so excited to be back. Yes, we are really having a great time. This honestly is one of my favorite games of the year already and we haven't even gotten into the creature crossbreeding. However, we have been working on a whole bunch of new research and we have also been working on getting some new rabbit variants. And I know you guys are just as excited as I am about understanding all of the variants for the different animals and hopefully being able to go ahead and do some crossbreeding. So let's go ahead and see what we can tackle today with all of these new tasks. Sunny, research for good. So I have to keep an eye on the emissions for this region and I have some advice. Why not research some alternate power sources? Look at this. Okay, so we can do wind turbines. So if we unlock wind turbines, that'll make Sunny really happy. How cute, dyed green hair for like the green emissions and like their name is Sunny, that's adorable. Then Kathleen, our investor. Your performance target is to have 50 customers in one day. Only then will I give you more capital. Together, we can make this business a success. Got it? Oh, Miss Lee, buy a bus. Kathleen convinced me to buy shares in your zoo, and I have some advice. You need transport, a lot of transport. Essentially, getting people to your zoo uh, means you have more customers. So go to the front gate and buy a second bus as soon as possible. Oh gosh, well, they've really got a lot of tasks for us to work on right now. <gasps> and a tradable variant. You have an animal in your zoo that you can trade with another zoo. Got it. Our bunnies, that's right. We were gonna work on getting some goslings. Okay, you guys, a goose for the gander. Let's go ahead and go to the world map. And we're gonna pop over and start a relationship with the London Zoo who have a couple geese they actually want to trade for a brown rabbit. So let's see, there's Killian, Pumpkin, and Bugsy. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're going to trade Killian because she's related to the, the bun buns that we have and she's a little bit older. So we're gonna select her and we're gonna go ahead and we'll trade her. And we have some geese! Oh, I really hope one day in the future they can tweak it so you can like rename the animals because that would be amazing. Oh, you sure are to be happy with these and they possibly won't be any trouble, but I do recommend not letting your visitors get too close. All right, so they're happy to have their geese in a new place. And then our geese are gonna start arriving over here, which will be really fun. Um, I wish the animals had more things to play with. Oh, I do too, friend! Tell you what, we'll have to work on that in just a little bit too. A black market dealer, what? Do you want to get your hands on some rare animals? I can find all sorts of animals, just don't, got, just don't ask me where I got it. Who needs ethics when there's money involved? Hmm, should we report this person? Should we buy an exotic skunk wall? Hmm, we actually literally don't have the money for that. So let's go ahead and like report this person. It may damage our relationship with them, but we're going high morality at the moment, friends. All right, that guy didn't get arrested by the police, it seems. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's buy a bus first, I think. Transport, Horizon Village. Look at all of these. You could unlock different bus types. What? That's really cool. And then 42% of our number collect percent collected the percentage of people that have been collected so today so far try buying enough buses or upgrading existing buses to increase this value to be a hundred percent so more than half of our people who want to come to our zoo can't get here because we don't have a bus that is the power of public transport vote accordingly friends but all right so let's go ahead and order more buses it's two thousand dollars New sales record, slushy shop, new applicant for the hot dog shop. Oh my word. Um, let me look at the new applicant for the hot dog shop really quickly. All right, so we have a whole bunch of applicants. And Leona here seems pretty good. There's no vacancies. Okay, so I guess that means we have to like fire the staff, Curtis, here at the hot dog shop, because he's really unpolite. His work ethic is pretty good, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fire him. I'm sorry, Curtis. Um, wages owed, pay owed. So, and severance. Um, this employee will be fired. Select how you would like to, wow, you could actually select how you would fire the employee. Firing employees within four days of their start date will have no impact on your morality score. <gasps> Thank goodness. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pay what's owed because he's been very rude to some of our guests, so I imagine. 
And then let's come for the hot dog shop and we're going to see about Leona. Oh my gosh, her work ethic is horrible. Oh no. Okay, thank goodness. Dexter's decent. High energy but low work ethic. Oh no. I probably should have been much more careful about this. All right. Can I get his politeness goes up, his job satisfaction goes up, but nothing's going to change. All right, we'll increase the politeness a little bit. Nothing's going to change that work ethic. Uh, let's not go ahead and we're going to keep people like coming, keep that vacancy going just in case. And then I think we should have somebody uh, like here pretty soon. Popularity of our shop is pretty high. Okay. So that is really fun. I'm gonna need a lot of money for the bus. We're just about there. Let's go ahead and buy the bus because like half the people who want to come to our zoo can't even get here. So order more bus. Got it. Oh, so expensive. Oh, but we got half that money back. Yes. Thank you, investors. All right, so now we have two buses. So buses on this route times two. Got it. All right, so we have two buses out and about on service. Hopefully that means that transport will be able to get higher and more people will be able to come to our zoo. Right now there's nobody here, which is kind of majorly concerning me. But, oh wait, wait, wait. Ah, maybe that's just because we close soon? All right, let's see if we can unlock the wind turbine real quick. So research, wind turbine. Morality five, unlock something next to this to learn more. So we can do the penguin pin or the crop seed. The penguin bin. Hmm. All right, let's do the penguin bin. And now if we get 10 research points, we can generate electricity in a green way. Okay, so if we do that, that would be really fantastic. We want to be careful to keep our research points then. Because I need 10. That's a lot. Can I hire more staff? Let's see. Recruit. How many? Okay, research hub, one of one. Okay, so you can only have one. Got it. All right, now it's night. Uh, current cash today's profit. Oh, we spent so much money. 13 people could not fit on your buses. 18 felt that the ticket price was too expensive. Oh, darn. New task, Captain Bleach. Oh, that's such a cute little like figure. Who is this? We want a cute polar bear on our bleach bottles and add an, uh, and add that we donate cash and cleaning products to the zoo to help customers understand our clean message. We really need you to build some bathrooms though. Build at least one bathroom and not only will your customers be happy, we'll also donate some more money to you. Okay, I'm more than happy to do that. Why is this game so freaking cute? Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna build <gasps> new shelter variant. Look at the little pig. <laughs> There's a little pig available, you guys. Oh my word. Can I put him in with the geese? Like, is that something I can do? We've gotta go, oh, what's this? The Toronto Zoo wants a pig for ducks? The duck isn't really a symbol of Canada, but we have one on our dollar coin. We, well, actually we have a loon, but it's close enough. Okay, that's adorable. And what is this? And if we have a goose, we can get some snakes. So why don't people like snakes? To me, they're constantly looking like they're smiling. Anyways, we had an unfortunate incident here and some people may have died. You want some snakes? Wait, what? <laughs> people died? Dude, that's like really intense. And there's a new Pegu available, you guys. Let's go ahead and get him. And space use 20 out of 20. Um, oh, cause he needs like a territory of, of 16. What? Okay, so I'm gonna need to expand this habitat or get our Pegu a new habitat cause he wouldn't have enough space. And now I need to build a restroom. Try to get 50 visitors in a day and unlock the wind turbine. And how much does it cost to buy land? Only 300? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and buy this land. Ta-da! All right. I would love to extend our warmest welcome to you. The people of the city love having a zoo here and I have personally cleared the land. Good, so we finished that task. Boom! We got a lot of money for that. That makes me really happy. Uh, so that gives us plenty of money to be able to focus on restrooms which would be great. And also, I think we need to lower the ticket price just a little bit. Uh, maybe just by one so that more people, well, a lot of people who came were like, nah, it's too expensive. So let's lower the ticket price a couple because maybe the real money is to be made in like convincing people 
to go ahead and spend all their money at the shops. All right, let's make some little pathways. Very nice, very nice. So people can come and see the little pigus. Um, and then we'll just, we'll keep this. Yeah, there we go. All right. No, people are already making messes. Where are my bins? Quick to the bins. Facilities, nursery, store hub, shop. Uh, let's see, gift stand. Oh, cotton candy again would be really cute. All right, I know that there's a bin somewhere. There's signboards. Oh, a little zoo map. Oh, it's so cute. If only it wasn't like a two-tiler. I wanted it to line up with this. But that's okay. We can actually put the zoo map like right here. Oh, it's precious. Oh, and there's a little fountain. <gasps> a fountain right behind it. I am so happy right now. Oh my word. The only thing that could make me happier is if I can put in a good plant, like right here. Oh, we could have a summer pine. We could have a small little, like, like scenic tree. All right, uh, you could have a tall tree. We'll put in the little, little scenic tree, like so. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Okay, I got completely sidetracked, by the way. Because this is not what I was supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be putting down a restroom. And also, there we go, little bins. So let's put in another bin. Let's do a green bin, like, right here. There. And that covers another one of the zones that visitors need to use. And then, <gasps> new sales record! The hot dog shop has made $15! Yay! And then, let's add in amenities the cute little restroom gosh that's precious all right so i feel like maybe we'll put the restroom right over here and then we'll make the we'll expand the habitat as well so let me put the restroom here and let's see if i can actually expand this like so huh can you can you expand edit enclosure there we go uh change shape Oh, you can! Okay. So can I come back here? Because we want to give them enough room that the geese are going to think about having some goslings. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Okay, edit enclosure. Chain shape. Let's expand it a little bit, like so. Gosh, this is precious. All right, and then we're going to add in the gate. Where's my goose? Where's my goose? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was so worried that our, something had happened to our geese. So let's see. Now we've completed the task for Captain Bleach, the polar bear. And he has given us more money. And we have a new applicant for the hot dog shop. Yes. Okay, let's just take a little peek. Can I just view some of your abilities? There's no vacancies. Maybe if I hire, like, another, or if I make another hot dog shop, we could make that work out. Uh, oh, and we need enrichment. Okay. Oh, no, water. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How could I forget to, like, take care of their habitat? It's because everything is still so new to me. Okay, there we go. Let's pause for just a second because I'm a little worried that I'm going to, like, accidentally kill our animals. Enclosure. There we are. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, what if I come in here? Add objects. There we go. Water. We need a large water basin, thank you very much. And it needs to have a water spot near it. We also need enrichment. Let's put in a small ball. Nice, for the geese to play with. Um, arrivals breeding. <gasps> oh, look, you can see, like, if you breed the ones in this pen, all of the different geese you might end up with. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to see how the breeding experiments go. Arrivals, the pig is coming in three minutes, and then you can go to get animals for them. If we had a snake, we could get <gasps> hyena! Heck! Okay, yeah, hyena would be really cool to add in. Oh my word, there's like a lot. All right, enrichment, and then we need the water link. So, not enough enrichment items placed. So let's add in a little bit more enrichment. We need to be doing some research for these, these geese pretty soon, I think. All right, and then we also need, hmm, is it facilities, amenities, water pump. There we go. And we'll hide the water pump maybe behind the bathroom. That makes sense to me. And now that should take care of all of our animals. So let's see. 
enrichment birth down so what does that mean oh look baron has been born oh how fun so we do have a new uh, we have a new baby bun bun that's so cute oh my gosh other things have uh other zoos have things for the animals to do heck okay people are not happy that i don't have oh and i don't have enough enrichment for the bunnies because we have so many of them now oh <laughs> that makes so much sense all right we'll get a whole bunch of bunny balls down and hopefully there we go now enrichment is better for the bun buns so they should be having a good time yay and look at our little pig cha cha the pig oh my gosh that's so cute okay so cha cha uh threat most threatened by goose oh so there's actually a threat level for cha cha but meanwhile like cohabitation threat how much the animal feels threatened by the animals they are living with so overall threat is fine there but then what about cohabitation overall threat is mild because the pig is threatened by the geese <gasps> i had no idea that would be a thing all right the goose and the pigs do i have enough like mealworms not bread for them all right let's increase the grains by like five percent and the mealworms by like i think ten percent and then make sure that the animals aren't getting fed too much there we go so that they'll have better food and then mealworms so i need to buy quick order all of the food you need two items let's buy this there we go and now we're like feeding all of the animals the critical food items and we can give the pigu some better food in just a little bit here too phew okay so there's a lot of little features to micromanage however it's a lot of fun ticket price too low all right so let's change our ticket price i'm gonna go up to six why doesn't the water supply reach all the enclosures it does it does oh i see they're not happy because they want it to reach the other half of this i see all right well we might need to buy some more land to take care of that but we have research points available friends let's go to the hub russ has been working hard and let's see if we can get some of these wind turbines Ta-da! And we can get the brick restroom and a large enrichment ball for our animals or <gasps> the chocolate vendor and scent markers for the animals okay i want to get the chocolate vendor because i think that would be amazing Ta-da! Zoo grows off the grid. A spokesperson for the zoo was excited to announce a partnership with Wind Power Inc. to undertake construction of green energy facilities at the zoo. The local power station conglomerate CEO had this to say, We do not approve of people generating their own power and not buying it from us. That's because executives like me earn millions of dollars every year for doing nothing much, and this threatens my decadent way of life. Sure, we warm up the planet, but people love warm weather. The zoo plans to begin construction of their own power generators in the near future. Yay! We're being eco-friendly! That makes me happy! Nice! So we're doing- oh, we have good on applicants. You have a new applicant for the job. Okay. I really need to check- like, I want to hire somebody better for the position. But I'm a little nervous. Huh. All right, well, we'll have to, maybe I should just close that for now. Oh, there's another new applicant too. <laughs> oh my word. All right, and it just hit me. We want to do some more breeding with the animals. Uh, we want to make sure that the animals are going ahead and unlocking more of their species genome. And in order to do that, we actually want to go ahead and breed. Let's see, let's look at this. So breeding. We can get a new bunny either from two brown bunnies or a brown bunny and one of these uh these bun buns right here so do they have a name like that variety of bun bun let's check let's see enclosure i just need to like click on this bunny biscuit biscuit does it tell me what kind of bun bun biscuit is it does not but i'm sure we'll figure that out eventually if we come over to the breeding thing and select breeding pair let's go ahead and we're actually going to yeah let's go ahead and we're going to try breeding 
Oh, Franny the Complainer, no rest for the weary. What kind of zoo doesn't have enough benches? Don't you have any consideration for the elderly? And what about lazy people? You should be more thoughtful and build some benches for people to rest their weary feet. Got it. All right, we'll work on that. And we're also going to start working on trying to get some new offspring for the new variant of bunny that we have. So breeding gains experience that helps balance out the chances of offspring variants of that breeding pair. Got it. So we can get experience from breeding pumpkin and biscuit together. All right, let's try this out. Let's see. Enclosure number one, pregnant, no, fertile, yes. So they're both fertile. <gasps> Wait, one of them's, oh my gosh. Research ultrasound technology in order to view the baby in advance. What? Oh my good word. That's so fascinating. One of my bun buns is actually pregnant. Okay, so let's try breeding. Let's see, biscuit and pumpkin. Pa pumpkin is already, like, biscuit is pregnant, like, before I could do anything about that. Um, what we don't really need are more of the white bun buns at the moment. So I think what we can do is we can go through the animals. Look at everybody, Bootsy, Baron. Oh, have some of them been dying? Are Bugsy and Pumpkin like our original ones? I don't think Bunsy and Pumpkin. <gasps> have they been dying of old age and I haven't noticed? No, 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 wait, 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 here's Hardy. So Hardy is here, too old to have any children. Do, what happens if we donate Hardy? Would you like to donate this animal to another zoo? A small logistical fee will be charged. No, 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 I think we're okay. So you can actually do something with your elderly animals too. But where's my other, like, my other one? I, I wish you could like pin specific animals so you can keep track of them. Um, but we will apply contraceptives to all of the, oh, there we go. Merkel is gonna have her baby in an hour. To all of the bunnies who are like of white fur, except for, Let's see, is Merkel the bun bun? Okay, should I have, can I, ah, trying to breed bunnies. You think you wouldn't have any difficulty trying to breed the bunnies. All right, let's try again. So I wanna pick a breeding pair. And this time I would like to go ahead, mother biscuit, biscuit is pregnant. Okay, so biscuit is the one who's pregnant. When will, oh, I think we just had a baby bun bun. Oh my word. Okay, wait, animals in this pen. There's more animals than that. There's, oh no, food supplies. Oh geez. Like, I think we just need, oh, we need, oh, the keeper. Oh, the keeper's not assigned to both areas. Ah, ah, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna starve these animals to death because I'm just so, like she's an experience level nine now. She's fantastic, so hopefully she'll take care and see a newborn bunny. There's two little white bun buns now, and they're hiccuping because they're so cute. Okay, our zoo is turning out amazing. I'm a little like tripping all over myself trying to go ahead and make the breeding thing happen. Biscuit is still pregnant. So let's actually try breeding these geese, the potential offspring. Yeah, let's try breeding these geese. And there's a 45% chance that we'll get a new goose. So. Mother? Oh, she's already pregnant! Yay! We don't even need to worry about it just yet. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. There's so many bunnies. Babies are so adorable. Oh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed them. They are quite precious. But all right, guys, this is actually turning out like really delightfully fun. Um, oh, gosh. Can you slow down time? Can I get the last two benches in before the end of the day? All right, go, 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 go. Uh, maybe a little, a little, a couple little benches over here. Yes! We did it! We did it! Boom! Ha! That makes me really happy that we managed to get that done before the end of the day. Uh, but alright! So, with the end of this day, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode. We now have two geese who are expecting a baby. No doubt they've laid eggs somewhere in here already. And we are doing a little bit better. I think we're making a lot of money. We're attracting at least 37 people. Everybody can come uh, to our, our zoo. People don't feel like it's too expensive. We're doing a little better. And now we apparently need more buses. Own at least four mini buses en route to Horizon Village. We'll look at that next time. What the ever-loving heck, this is so cute. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely little bun buns that we might have some new baby crossbreed bun buns coming on up. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious.
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!